Hey everybody, welcome to another lesson. I will do higher than 75 marks from the basic select subsection of SQL and Hacker Rank. Here we're given this table of students with the column's ID, name, and marks, and we're asked to query the name of any student. That is, we're going to query only the value from the name column who was scored higher than 75 marks. That is, we have to filter by the marks being greater than 75. Then we got to order the output by the last three characters each name. So for that, we have to take the name, get only the last three characters, and use that to order. And if, if we have the same last three characters for the same, for different names, then we have to order secondarily by ascending ID. So that's the second clause of the order by. So let's get started. Let's first see what the data looks like. I'll do select star from students and I'll click run code. So there you go. We have ID, the name, and marks. So let's first uh, filter out all the ones that have marks less than uh, or equal to 75. So we're going to add a where. And we, the name of the call is marks. We have to have it greater than 75. And that's going to take care of eliminating, for example, this line here, 5. Now we have to query only the name. So the name of the column for the select is only name. We don't care about the other columns. Now uh, we have to order by and the last three characters of a name. How can we get the last three characters of name? Uh, there's a function you can use that's right. Here's the docs for DB2. This function will do the job. Just pass the column, in this case name comma, the number of characters you want from the right-hand side of that string. In this case, it would be uh, three. And if you're using MySQL, it's the same function and same arguments here. Going back there, I'm going to do write of name, comma. Since we want only the last three, I have to say three. And that's going to take only the last three characters of the string. And that's going to be ordered alphabetically by default, right? ASC is the default implicit, so I don't have to write it. Now, if it happens that uh, the two names or more will have the same last three characters, we have to find another way of sorting those, and that's by ascending ID as required by the question. So here I have to say comma, and I'm going to say ID. That's the name of the column ID. And it's by default ASC. So you can either write it or not. So let's run the code and see what we get. And there you go. That's the solution. Let me submit the code. And that's higher than 75 marks. 